1989 saw a run that has been labelled the greatest comrades performance ever. Fritz von der Merwe, a school teacher from Benoni, won in 88, and another record was in the offing. Fritz ran as if in a dream, with a stride that never faltered. Her smiling face showed that she had found a plane of performance and exhilaration that most runners only dream of. She tore through the second half, leaving elite male runners scattered in her wake, and finished in 15th place overall. Her 5 hours 54 took an incredible 50 minutes off the down record, and she won the race by over an hour. I was motivated to win. I loved to win. Um, so that was my big thing, was to win the, the women's section of Comrades. I did predict a time, 6.15, 6.20, but just everything went so well on that day. I can remember 10 k's out of um, Durban, just feeling so good. I couldn't <coughs> believe it. I just never got tired. What Fritz did is she said, ladies, I think you're slack, I think you're lazy, I think the standard needs to improve and this is where we should be. And I believe that Fritz has been matched now at last by Anne Trayson in the upfront. And about the times that those ladies are running is actually what the, the gap between the leading male and the leading female should be. She was a better athlete than me, but it made me train hard to just see how close I could come to her. So she did, she uplifted my running or my attitude and my effort. And I don't know whether she did it to the other girls. I know a lot of them thought they were in a different race to hers, but it didn't really help them with that. The climax of the women's race and the 2010 Comrades Marathon came when Elena Nagadieva sauntered around the finish at Sahara Kings Mead to the cheers of the crowd of Sister Alessia just a few metres back. It was a wonderful feeling for these two twins that have worked their way into the hearts of South African sports and road running fans over the years with their sportsmanship, their wonderful performances, their superb athleticism and their warm personalities. I've learned to speak English now and they are perfectly capable of expressing themselves in a, in a foreign language. The time way off the record, 5 hours 54 was not really going to happen over the last 30 k's. They slowed down, not a pressure at all, but over 6 hours. And one of the slower comrades winning times for the women in recent years, but I don't think they were too worried about that. Elena Nagalieva, the finishing straight, her time was just around about 6 hours 13. Took her fifth victory and uh, her sister second. She's also won it on three occasions, so the two of them completely dominant, as expected. And maybe a little bit on the boring side, maybe get, one day someone will come and give them a run for their money. But it certainly looks like these two could easily dominate the Comrades Marathon and the Two Oceans Marathon, for that matter, for the next four or five years. They're still in their early 30s, plenty of years of running to go. They've got on top of their game, their training, their build-up, their tactics and their teamwork. They know exactly what they're doing. Looking fresh, as always, at the finish. And then around them looking a bit the worse for wear. And they would go off, celebrate. We're going to have a holiday, in fact, after this. A few days down here in KZN. Graham Daniel, the sponsor, is once again congratulating them. And the Galeabies, the, the kings, I suppose you can call them the queens, if you like, of the Comrades Marathon in the new millennium. Completely dominant.